Welcome back. Until now, we had been using Python shell to execute all our code. In the real world, we'll be using real Python code written in variety of scripts. Before we would go into an IDE and use the IDE to write the script, I thought it would be useful for us to understand how you can do Python code without the benefit of an IDE. This will also help us understand the Python environment in depth. So in the next few videos, we'll be looking at how to create a simple Python script using any text editor of your choice, Notepad, Notepad++, or Editpad, or whichever text editing software you are comfortable with. So we'll create a simple script. We'll see what's involved in executing it and what's happening in the background with it. Let's get started with creating a simple script file. Now, I'm opening up one of the text editors I have. It does not really matter which one you are using. I'm going to create a new file. And over here, I would want to type in a simple Python script or Python piece of code, right? So print hello world. Does it get any simpler than this? So all that I'm doing is print hello world. I'm saving this and I'm saving it into a specific folder on my hard disk. And I'm giving it a name first.py. PY is not really mandatory, but typically all Python files end with py extension. So I'm saying first.py and I'm storing it to a folder that I know of. So make sure that you know which folder you are saving it to. Save it. And after that, launch your terminal. So launch up your terminal or launch up your command prompt from where you can run your Python shell. But the first thing you need to do is to cd to the folder where this Python script file is. In my machine, it's in the folder in 28 minutes courses, notes, Python recording. So I'm ceding to that folder and now I would use the same command which I used to launch up the Python shell. So if you're using Python 3.6 or whatever you'd, you were using to launch up the Python shell, you would use the same thing followed by a space followed by the name of the script. So the name of the file first.py. You can see that hello world is being printed. So let's now go and change the code. So first Python script. as simple as it. If you are familiar with other programming languages, then you'd know the fact that you need a class, you need to put the code in a class and all that kind of stuff. While Python supports object-oriented programming, it's not mandatory to create a class. You can almost see it as if you are typing commands starting from line one. So first command is this, second command is this. That's why we call it a Python script. Make sure that you are saving the code in here before you would execute it. Cool thing about Python is the fact that you can define functions anywhere. So I can say diff print hello world or we can actually do print string and we can say str comma times. And over here, you can now start writing your definition of the code. So make sure that you give indentation. So Make sure that you are actually one, two, three, four, which is typically what we would do. So print string, and I would say for i in range of one comma times plus one colon, oops, colon, I leave enough space, four spaces. And now I can type in print str. Thing is, you can also call print str, print string, and pass in hello world and say five times. And you'd see, oops, hello world is printed five times. So you can see how in a Python script, you can use inbuilt functions, you can define methods and call it. One of the important things that you need to note is the alignment. So if you have the same alignment 
as the for loop, then this print string would also be considered to be part of the for loop. That's not what we would want to do. What we would want to do is we would want to execute that method. To be able to execute that, what I'm doing is I'm removing all the spaces before it so that this is considered to be similar to this. So just like this code is executed, this function is also executed. And this contains the definition of the print string method. What I'll recommend you to do as an exercise is to add a couple more methods in here and start executing them. If you make a mistake in syntax of any of these stuff, so let's say I'm missing a parenthesis in here, what would happen? You can see and it says line two, print, there is an error, invalid syntax. So I would need to go in and say, okay, this is the line where there's an error, I can fix this or you can create an error and see what would happen. One of the important things you need to understand is fixing things. Whenever there's a problem, you'd want to be able to fix things. And one of the things you can try is remove specific things in your code and see what would happen. It says def print string invalid syntax. This would help you to identify errors at a later point in time. Cool, isn't it? In this small step, what we did was we tried to create a simple Python script and we ran it from the command line. All that we needed to do was use the same command that we used to launch up the Python shell and followed it up with a name of the file. So we created a file called first.py. So we were able to execute that and we were able to see the output on the console. So let's quickly run it and you can see that this is working piece of code. As an exercise, try and add a few more methods and try to run those methods as well as part of the script. And I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye.